So we are directly in that parampara. We get that mercy directly. For me, sometimes it's unbelievable. <laughs> we are the luckiest persons in the world. Really, I mean, we not just get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like everyone. There are more specific things inside. Because we are in that parampara which comes down from Ananga Manjari herself. Not so many people. Look at it. You have initiation, you have a sheet, it's written there. It's amazing. So we are such lucky guys. We could not make it in another way than by mercy. So, and if you ask, how can we do faster? This is what we were talking about. Viraha. Come in the mood that you miss that seva of Radharani. How you can come in this mood? If you go in the kitchen and you cook for your stomach, not possible. If you go in the kitchen and you cook for the beloved of your Swamini, help her to cook. Meditate on it. Then more and more things will come. They will open. And then you will think, Hmm, I have an electric steamer here. Why I cannot break these pins and other woods and make it nicely for Radharani that she, you know, all, all these little details, you will meditate on it. And then by the time you will see, ah, oh, here it's so limited. I want to have more seva, more detailed. So in this way, the wish will come up. Why not personally serving? I want to serve you personally. I want to do it like it is described. And it's even more sweet than it is described. But it's a meditation. It takes time. But if we miss it, then it will go further. It's the fire in our seva. That's why Viraha, what actually Viraha is giving to us, it's Rati. How we want to get Rati? So we are lucky that actually Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati wants to share his feelings with us. And like we heard yesterday that there was written, uh, maybe it's not possible for Srila Raghunanda Goswami to change or to develop these feelings in the hearts of the sadhakas immediately. For him it's possible. It's not a problem. Huh? Rati Manjari can give us Rati. No, of course, she can give complete. You want Rati? Here you have. Boom. That's it. The problem is we are not coming with a big bowl. We are coming like 
let 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 me try first. <laughs> I want to be safe, you know. <laughs> let me first try a little. So it's on us. It's given fully, but we cannot receive it fully yet. But no problem. In the beginning, it's a little bit, then it grows further. And by the time more and more will come, because we have to be aware that we have shortcomings. Something is blocking inside. The false ego, which, with all these experiences of limited love, is usually blocking the flow of the real love. And so we have to be aware, ah, here's a block. So let me take that blockage and make a arati, bring it to the lotus feet of Gurudev, and he will actually take it and give it and change it. Change the false ego into a real ego, step by step, blockage by blockage, aspect by aspect. And this takes time. That's the point. This is actually why it takes time. Because all these little aspects have to be changed. You cannot rip them out and completely give new at one time. That's not possible. Because this would actually take your free will. You are willing to give 10%. Okay. Radharani takes it and change it. Now you are willing to give 15. Okay. Give me another 5. Now you are willing to give 20. Okay. Give me another 5. But Radharani... She is so soft, so lovely, and so shy. She will never press anyone to anything. It's your free will and choice. And say, okay, here is my next step I want to try to go towards you. And let me see what happens. And next time, bigger step. And next time, bigger step. So it depends on us. It's not limited mercy. It's the limited com uh, capacity to take that mercy. But let us go on. We don't have to feel depressed because of that, you know. Every time we get some new, big, wonderful present of Mahabhav. Radhe, Radhe. I think in the moment, why not so depressed for this? This is the highest level of depressing or <laughs> <laughs> this is my thought come up. <laughs> Thank you. Rade Rade. <laughs> Rade Rade. <laughs> so this actually, this process is giving us Viraha step by step. Because we see how merciful Swamini is. Practically, we, we not, not just hear it, we see it in our life. We have a problem, we offer it, it's changing, it comes out to the best. Oh, that must be love. It cannot be something else. That, that is actually that love I heard so many times of. I didn't believe that it exists, but now I see, yes, it's true. 
but still, I'm not 100% sure. So let's go further a little bit. And by this, we will miss her so much because we will love her more and more. And how you want to get love to a person if you don't have a relation? If you don't have a personal exchange like that? If you don't feel the practical proof that this relation is true and it works out? How you want to have 100% or 108% faith if you are not going to this practical process So that's the point. We have to have this practical experience. And then it's a practical proof. It's not a theoretical thing that, yes, she is love personified. You can have faith to her. Yes, you can say this very easy. But to feel it in your heart, that's something else. So step by step, we can have this experience and then we will really feel it deep, deep in our heart. It's a true. It's not just a say. It's Vikyan. Then. And Vikyan, as we know, is eternal. So it will never, ever break again. And that's another good news. <laughs> we may be now in that sad position that we don't have this complete truth, but if we come out to, from this, then eternally we will have full faith. So that's why we are so happy that actually such great souls, they are sharing with us. They, they didn't wear sharing with us. You know, it's not a past. It was some, someday it was like that they shared. But now we missed it because we were not there. No, they still share with us. And they will always because they are eternal and we have an eternal connection if we want. So if we want to have this eternal connection, that means we want to go in our Bhavadeya, then we can have it. So simple it is. You want it, you get it. Just stay here. Just stay connected, fixed on one point, go on. And whatever happens, right or left, up and down, don't care. It's all part of the process of cleaning your heart. And then one day we can also anxiously living in Bandavan. And living in Bandavan doesn't mean you have to be in that place Bandavan physically. Your sadak is your sadak. It's nice to be in Bandavan, yes. It's nice that your sadak is in Bandavan here on this earthly planet. That's wonderful. That's great. 
nothing to say against that. Everything wonderful. But practically, if all the people who want to go back would all live in Bindavan, I think it, was, it, it wouldn't be good for the traffic in Bindavan. <laughs> So, but we should be in Vrindavan always with our body of feelings because this is eternal. Our Bhava Deha, our body of feelings is always in Vrindavan. And we can, we can get a very good impression when our Sadak Deha, our body, our physical body is in Vrindavan and we make actually this experience. When I was the first time in Vrindavan, I noticed that's a completely another place like any other place in this world I was visiting before. It's not like Hong Kong. It's, it's not like the Philippines. It's not like uh, Spain, Italy or other places I was before. It's not Croatia. It has a complete another wipe. I was standing there the first time in the night after a long flight and you know the mind usually goes crazy after long traveling, you are very tired and you know all this. The mind tends to be a little bit um, agitated. <laughs> I was standing there seeing the place and I thought, oh my God, actually, what you did, why you came here? <laughs> because I was in the streets were, you know, not so nice. It was not so nice looking there. Pigs running around and, you know, and, you know, the old part, a little bit stinky and all this. So, but then I said to my mind, okay, you have a long travel, so please calm down, go to the hotel, rest a bit, and then let's see what happens. And I was waking up, and the first time in my life, I really, really, the first time in my life, I felt completely satisfied in the heart and I felt completely home. I couldn't explain it because it wasn't something which you could see outside. I couldn't explain it. It was a feeling inside my heart. I was completely satisfied at home. In like at the breast of mama as baby. It was that feeling I never had with my mama here. It was the first time in my life I had this feeling. So Brindavan is our eternal home. That's why we will be there very anxiously living. We will live at home and we will be very anxiously searching for Radha because we want to serve her. Because this actually is part of our nature. That is our nature. To be in Vrindavan and serve our Swamini. That's the most natural thing we can live in. And if we don't miss it, then we are sick. Something is wrong with us.
So our Praneshwari is living in Vrindavan. And we want to be together with our Praneshwari. She is giving Brahm to us. She is our Brahm. She is our life force. She is also the life force of Krishna. I mean, that's another point. She is the life force of Krishna. Could could the Rasa dance take? Uh, could the Rasa dance uh, find place without Radharani? No, never. Could this boy understand himself without Radharani? No, never. He is losing his intelligence. He is bewildered when Radharani is not there. Can you imagine? It is said that this blue boy is God. He's bewildered. <laughs> he is losing his intelligence. He is helpless without the love of Radha. Isn't that amazing? So who is the ruler? Who is the highest force? So she is even giving Brahm to Krishna, not to speak of us. So Gauravani, it's come something to me, you know. She's the Praneshwari of Manjaris and she's Praneshwari also of Krishna. So it's natural then that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, wants to taste also Manjari Bhav. He wants to be like Manjari. He wants to take their place, but he he cannot do. So it must be that Manjari are very, very dear to Krishna also. Yes, that's a wonderful point. We all belong to each other in a very natural way. Like Krishna is the father our eternal father, Radharani is our eternal mother, but in the game, in the Lila, we forget about this and we change the roads. So sometimes Krishna wants to be Manjari. That's just normal, isn't it? Like a father wants to see how my child feels in that position. She's getting all our love, how she feels. I want to see how she feels. And of course, I also want to feel how my beloved loves me, how she feels when she loves me so much. How amazing. But unfortunately, Krishna cannot find a limit. That's why this game is also eternal because he eternally tries to find out. But there is no limit, because Radharani's love, her Mahabhav, is limitless, shoreless ocean, endless deep. So again and again he dives in it and cannot find any end. And this is our good luck. We are also eternal. <laughs> so eternally, we exchange this love.
And like Radharani, we find the pinnacle of bliss in serving her because she, because she finds the pinnacle of bliss in serving Krishna. Because it's so selfless. And we all know, we heard already from Jesus, that giving is more near to the soul than taking. So that means serving in love is giving more bliss to the soul. And this Jesus wanted to tell us. It's the same what Radharani is actually showing us practically. So we are so lucky that we have the chance to serve in that endless love, in endless time, eternally. And that the pinnacle of that bliss, of that ananda we feel in that moment is also endless. So, whoever may think, yeah, but if you are eternal and you're doing eternally the same thing, isn't that boring? <laughs> no. <laughs> Such a word doesn't exist. In the spiritual sky, there is no boring. <laughs> So Swamini says, how will you attain me unless you cry your heart out like that for me? She says to Srila Prabhupada Saraswati, how you want to attain me unless you cry your heart out like that for me? How you want to attain me without Rati? without being completely eaten up by Vira, the pain of separation, how you want to attain me? I give you that feeling, my dear, that you, in your mandatory form, will come to me and stay with me. That's the blessing of Swamini. Srimati knows very well how to draw her maid servants completely to her lotus feet by making them so eager and anxious. So that's her mercy. Only through that eagerness you can come to her and she makes you eager. You cannot become eager by some special mantras. By her mercy. She sees you want and she gives mercy. The beloved deity is the enjoyer of Bhakti Ras. Taking Shyam Sundara with her, Swamini secretly hears the Viraha Villa. 
taking Shamsundara with her, Swamini secretly hears the Viraha Vila of the Virahidasi. Isn't that amazing? She is not only listening alone to the Vilab of Raghunadas or here, Srila Prabodhananda. It's not that she secretly hears it alone. She is taking her Shamsundara. Come, listen. Come and listen. What this Manjari is actually doing there in her sadak. Hear that vilap. You will be astonished. Bhaktera prema chesta de ki krishnera chamatkaro Chaitanya Charitamrita. Even Krishna himself is astonished when he sees the loving feelings and activities of his devotees. Why he is astonished? Because the real devotee is always connected with Radha. And Radharani herself is giving the intelligence and all the needs to serve. She is doing the seva. She is the key. She is taking the ghee and cooking in the ghee for Krishna. The ghee means the love of the bhakta. She is taking the love of the bhakta and making a very nice dish for Krishna. Without Radha, no entrance. No wonder that Krishna is astonished. Oh my God! This devotee is serving me in such a wonderful way. He can only be moved by Mahabhav. Who is Mahabhav? Our Radha, our Swami. His heart will be greatly moved by Mahabhav. So by serving Radharani, we will, like this, astonish Krishna. He will be attracted. He is running after a person who is pronouncing Radha's name. And he is considering, oh my God, what I can give to this person. I will give the best I have, the savor to the lotus feet of my Radha. This is my highest treasure, so I will give to that person. Only when this eagerness becomes very intense, the relish of the Beloved comes. Intense. So without Viraha, how there can be intense feelings? If we don't even miss Swamini, everything good, I have enough money, I have some house, I have nice car to eat, everything nice. You want to come to Swamini like that? Forget it.
It's not the house. No. It's not the things you have are blocking you. No. It's your consciousness that is blocking you. You don't miss her. That's the point. Beside all you have for some time here, till you leave this body, it's not yours. Beside you have that now, because of the mercy of Swamini, you don't miss her. Okay, then stay here and play. The child not missing mama, mama is cooking in the kitchen, the child will not come out of the playing room. Okay, as long the child is satisfied playing, mama will cook. But the child who cannot take it, that mama is in the kitchen and myself, I'm here, I'm missing my mama. This child is running out. Mama, where are you? I'm missing you so much. Can I help you? Can I do something for you? Let me cook together for you, for, for Papa and the other children. But as soon as you think this playing room is so nice, all these houses and cars and whatever, you will not come out. It's you. You are not coming out. So it's me. I am not coming out. I'm a rascal. I'm satisfied without love. I think unpersonal way to live is very nice. I think like this. Srimati's beauty, sweetness, sweet pastimes and sweet attributes within transcendental revelations awakens this great agitation within Srimati's heart. So when the child is meditating on how wonderful sweet the mother is, then it gets the wish to go to Mama. Sripad wanders from Kunj to Kunj in Sri Vrindavan, searching for his beloved Ishwari. The natural beauty of Sri Vrindavan strongly reminds Virahi Sripad of Sri Sri Radha Madhavas Lila Ras. And he thinks, in this Kunja, my Mohanangirata has played hundreds of ever fresh, artful pastimes with her dear most, Shyamsundara. Mohanangi, Mohan Mahabhav, Mohanangi. the pinnacle of Mahabhav in Viraha. She is personified, Mohanangi. The word Mohanangi is understood to mean her body becomes beautified by Mahabhav and that enchants Shamsundara, the Sakis, 
in the lunderies, which means she is missing her Shyam Sundara. She wants to serve him, and this enchants not only Shyam Sundara, also the Sakis because of their mood, and of course the Mandaris, because they want to serve to bring them together. That means Seva, Seva. Sripat remembers the previous seen sweetness of Mohanangi's new artistry in love making. And again, here we can end with the Audarya of Swamini. She is serving her beloved in the greatest way possible, in the same time she's thinking of her mantras and giving her that mercy and the possibility to come. Come here. Like in the second part of Mahamantra, Gurudev explains so nicely. Why are you sitting outside? Why you come here and serve? Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, come, help me serving. So in this way we can see Prabhupada was right. Everything is in the Maha Mantra. Everything. It's the beginning, it's the middle, and it's the end. But we have to realize it. And to realize it, we need persons who have realized it already and share it with us. So we need our Gurudev and we need such persons like Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati, like Srila Raghunata Goswami, and all the other Acharyas who helped us. There are so many, like Narayan Maharaj, like Ananda Das Babaji, all these merciful souls. So let us brace them, let us connect with them by bracing them and get the mercy of them. That's the way. Because the so-called offenses are actually you disconnect yourself with the mercy. That's your offense against your own self. You disconnect yourself by not seeing how great they are. They just want to give you Mahabhav. You don't see it. You don't want it. That's the offense. You're offending yourself. Staying in the bodily consciousness. So that's my position. So please give me your mercy and bless me that I can come further. Thank and you thank so you much. <laughs> thank you so much, Gauravani. I remember uh, in the beginning when you start to give this uh, class, this sharing. In very beginning, I'm, I was asking to you, uh, what is actually, how is the vision of the Manjaris? To, uh, how Manjaris can see, how sh she see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no? And uh, it was not, was clear at all, no? But I can see how we are growing in feeling day by day, by day and, and uh, now it's different. Every day is more, much more, much more, not more, but much more and much more. So thank you to you that you, that Gurudev use you. 
in such a way. And this is mercy of Gurudev, of course. And thank you so much to you and to Gurudev. Adi, Adi. Thank you so much. This is the proof that actually this process Radhe, Radhe. is working. Yes, Radhe, Radhe. Uh, it's all fine, sorry. This is the proof that actually this process is working, isn't it? What we are doing, we are serving. This is Seva. We are reading the words of the great saints. We are sharing them. We are sharing our feelings about these things. That's our Seva. So Gurudev gave me this Seva. I'm doing this Seva. By doing this Seva, we grow. Because mercy is flowing towards us by doing this seva. This is the process. You, you do seva, you get the mercy, you grow. So wonderful that you see that it works, isn't it? Because this gives us so much hope. I mean, I'm useless, but anyway, I'm useful in the hand of someone who is connected with Radharani. So in that hand I'm useful. Like a hammer on its own, it's lying there, not used. But then expert hand is coming, taking it, putting the nail in the wall. Now it's useful. That's the process. So Swamini's Mahabhav is coming to us through all this line and the mercy is coming down and this is the Audarya and without that we would be lost. That's why Audarya Lila is so important for us. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Audarya Lila is our yeah. <laughs> it's the best it could happen <laughs> yes. we are just lucky to be here to get this mercy so thank you all very much that you are here and that we can share this together and by this way grow more and more. Because this is the wish of Guru Manjari that we grow. Guru Manjari is praying for us. So we should not neglect that mercy and just take it. So thank you all so much. And thank you, Gurudev, that you are giving us this mercy and this seva that we can grow. You little children. Yeah.